All right, I'm gonna show you today how to create a video using Camtasia. Now, I wanna be clear, you can use any video editing software that you feel comfortable with. So I don't wanna drive you towards this software if you've already got something that you feel comfortable using. I'm gonna show you a few things that I feel like are important in terms of um, how you create these video home shows and the neighbor interview, but there's lots of different videos you can do and that's kind of why I like this software. Um, this software is actually made originally and, and TechSmith is the company that, that creates it for educators. It's made really for creating video that's instructional and in my opinion, your ability to instruct and teach and consult and advise people is really what Captivate is all about. And because of the versatility that this offers to do that, I just feel like it's, it's a great piece of software to have for one of the tools in your toolbox of being a real estate agent. Um, but again, if you feel comfortable using another software that does the same thing or that you figured out a way to do the things I'm going to show you, that's great. Now, one thing I will show you as well is that um, formatting, like the size of your video is important for different platforms and kind of different purposes. Like here, let me show you a video. I can pull it up pretty quickly here. There it is. Um, this is a video that a uh, loan officer did to talk about um, when SVP, SVP, B, you know, the, um, uh, the bank um, crashed in the Silicon Valley. So um, she created a video that she wanted to do and, it, and you can see that it's in this kind of the opposite format of what you might normally see like on TV um, where it's landscape. This is more of a portrait video. So I'm gonna play this really f fast so you can see it. So I'm sure you saw the news over the weekend about the three major bank failures, uh, the second largest bank failure in all of history. So I'm not sure if this is relevant news or not. It's you know in the past now, and by the time you watch this, it may not be as relevant, but that was super big news. So when something like that comes up and you wanna create a quick video, or maybe you found out about a new loan program, or there's this awesome property. Typically, if it's a property, I like the landscape video for property because it shows more of the property if you're actually gonna show it. But if it's something where you're just trying to give a, a tidbit of information that's super relevant, super important, it's just you in the video, um, this real, they call it a real R-E-E-L format, is great for Instagram, TikTok, um, even Facebook is adopting it more now. Facebook and Instagram are owned together, but people are kind of, as they scroll through their phones, um, it takes up the whole phone screen. As you can see, it looks like a, you know, the size of a phone screen. So that's what makes it so popular. But the nice thing about um, Camtasia is you can decide what format you want this in. So you can put it in, in really any format that you want. If I go to project settings, I can come in here and then I can change the dimension. So here's the square format. The square format is kind of for the Instagram wall, but it actually works for Facebook as well. Uh, you know, again, you're working with a square and, uh, and if you need to crop your video in some way because you took it on your phone, um, it, it might not work, you know, as well. So that's why these reels have become so popular. They're called vertical. So you basically have your horizontal and then you have your vertical. Just to let you know, you do have the versatility to create um, any format that you want. In this particular video, I'm gonna show you how to do a uh, landscape video that is about a um, video home show. I um, mean, we talked about that through our training, if you've been through the Captivate course, and these video home shows are really great. I'll actually show you an example of one so you know what I'm talking about. So this is uh, Robin, who's a real estate agent in Utah, and you can see that she's standing in the kitchen. She's staying in one place. This is super important. Do not walk around with your phone and do the Blair Witch video that nobody likes to watch because it's all shaky, plus you're not in it. Stand in one place, do a quick teaser. Her teaser, I mean, the whole video is only two minutes, and part of that is actually the interview with the neighbor, which I'll show you in just a second, but that's what the video home show is all about. So I'll play a little tidbit of this, and then you can watch the whole thing if you want. If you go to intercaplending.com slash captivate, you'll see all the video examples and, and tutorials that are there. So let me play this. Hi, I'm Robin Buck Walter. I'm with Utah Key Real Estate, and I'm so excited to show you a gorgeous home in Harriman. It is up in the foothills, sits on just shy of a half acre. When you walk into this home, you'll see these gorgeous two-story ceilings, a beautiful staircase with rock. So notice how she's staying in one place in the kitchen. 
And as she talks about the different areas of the property, it does what we call this B-roll or this overlay of what she's talking about. And it goes back and forth between her talking um, and then of what she's talking about. This is super important because no, someone would get frustrated to hear you talk about how amazing the yard is. Like, look at this backyard. It looks like it's backed up to the BLM, so there's not gonna be any background neighbors and they got this amazing setup back there. Well, you could say that in video, or, or you know, you could say it if you're talking in the video, but if you don't show it, people are gonna be like, well, I wanna see it. So make sure that you have that ability to do that. And that's how I'm gonna show you um, to do it today. So the first step, of course, is to go to your property, get your setup, have your tripod in place. You really don't need special lighting. Notice that she does have a bright light back there and see how bright it looks there. If she was standing in front of that, it would silhouette her a bit. So you can see on your phone, because your phone is an incredible video um, capture, it captures video at a very high quality and it adjusts to the lights. So you really don't need to worry too much about that, but, but look what it looks like, you know, cause you can see it. Make sure you use the front cameras in your phone, the selfie ones, and don't worry that they're not 4K cause you're not doing a cinema, you know, level, you know, production here. So um, then you can tell if the lighting's good and everything. I do recommend that you use some sort of microphone. So she has a directional mic if I remember correctly. So, you know, you don't see the lav mic on her lapel or her shirt or something like that but um, uh, you know the sound is really good so make sure your sound is good and that's really what's important and then after you talk about certain things you do these little pans of the house right so she's talking about the outside of the house she does this little you know soft short you know slow pan of the front of the house then she starts talking about you know the grand staircase so she shows that you know then she talks about you know the backyard and all the open space and views and the master suite oh wow look there's even a fireplace you know the way you take a bath so what a what a cool place so she's showcasing all this through her video home show and then at the end or the second half of this she's interviewing a neighbor and i can't tell you how powerful this is because you're going to tag the neighbor they're going to have lots of friends in the neighborhood you're going to make such an impression on the neighbor and all their friends and and the seller it's just a great way to get everybody excited about you being their listing agent. So I'm gonna show you just a tidbit of this. Again, you can watch the rest of it on the website. So we've been here for about three years now. We moved from Texas and there are so many things I love about Harriman. I love the views everywhere you look. It's a gorgeous view, the mountains. And um, there's just so much there with your family. You can go hiking, biking, running. There's a reservoir really close you can take your family to. And so notice that even the pictures used here, she's got video of what the neighbor's talking about. But what I really want to impress on you is how important it is for you to stand side by side with that neighbor, have your tripod, you know, try to get lav mics in there if you can so passing cars don't make too much noise or the wind or something like that. And then just ask that question that the neighbor is so passionate about. What do you love about living in the neighborhood? And let the neighbor talk about it. You'll find that if you go through the Captivate program, the neighbor's gonna talk about those five things, or actually, probably not even the house, because for them, they already live in a house, they're not gonna talk about how great their house is. Maybe they could mention the neighbor's house, but I've never heard that before, because all they talk about are how amazing the schools are and the, you know, they love the people in the neighborhood, all those type of things. And they can say certain things that, you know, you wouldn't be able to say. Like, if they're gonna talk about how great the schools are, you know, it seems like it's promoting the fact that it's for families and kids and stuff. But, you know, that's just the neighbor talking about from their perspective what they love about the neighborhood, and that's totally fine. And then you've got Robin, who's in the video, super important because it's showing Robin rubbing shoulders with the neighbor. And, and also it makes the video easier to do with the neighbor because they're not looking in a camera trying to figure out what to say. She's just talking to Robin, just like a friend talking to someone. What do you love about the neighborhood? Well, I love this, I love the views, I love the shopping, I love the schools and all that kind of stuff. And, and she does mention, maybe I could put it here or I'll show it to you a little bit, but she mentions the schools and how much her kids love them. And I absolutely love it. The principal's awesome, the teachers are awesome. Um, 
they just make school fun. My kids love to go to school every single day. Yeah. So how powerful is that kind of message to someone that's thinking of buying the home that may have kids? Again, if they don't have kids, it's not going to distract from it. But at least it gives people a sense of why they're buying that home. It's not just about the house. It's about the entire neighborhood. So that's what's so great about these videos. This is one of the five videos or even six not videos, but ads that you'll put out on social media to promote your home. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that using Camtasia. Again, if you're going to use Camtasia, there is a link to get, a, it's not much of a discount, but a little bit, but use that link um, if you want to find how to, how to get a, even a free version of it to, to try it out, a, a sample. Um, you can do that. It will put a watermark on it, but at least you can try it out if you want to see, figure out if you want to use it. But I'm going to show you how to use it and you'll see how incredibly easy it is to use. So the first thing you need to do, um, obviously, is you've done your filming with your phone. And this is, again, all done with your phone. So it's going to be on your phone. How do you get that onto your computer? Um, there are some video editing software that you can get that you can do on your phone. I'm fat fingered. I don't know about you. Plus, what I'm going to show you seems like it would be really hard to kind of fit that into a small screen on a phone. So I like to bring it onto my computer to do my editing. Um, so the first thing you want to do is get that um, video from your phone onto your computer. How do you do it? Uh, the easiest way to do it is to either plug your phone into your laptop. Um, and if you do that, you'll usually get a screen that pops open that says, do you want to import video and audio or video and photos? Because it assumes that that's why you plugged it in, even though you could charge it or whatever else. But it assumes that's what you want to do. If you hit yes, it will pull in a copy of all those pictures. Unless you change the settings, it'll actually download them and take them off your your phone. But in most cases, if you haven't done anything or changed anything on your settings, it will just put a copy onto your computer um, of all those pictures and video. Know where they go. They usually go in a video and a, a picture um, folder that's on your profile. Um, you know that, you know, your folder when you um, go into your computer. Like if I go in here, pull up a new window. And, uh, you know, for me on this Mac, um, book it will go into my downloads but sometimes you will have let's see if it's even here oh here's Mike's MacBook Pro and then um, you know in yours uh, if it's a PC or a Mac you might have a folder that says video or um, images or pictures and they might go in there so just kind of have a good idea of where they go now the other thing is because I use a MacBook I also have an iPhone they talk to each other through what's called AirPlay and I can just send it that way what I don't want you to do is to email or text your videos from your phone to your computer uh, please don't do that because it will downsize it and it won't be a, as good a resolution. Sometimes it's really tiny because it, it's assuming that since you're texting it or emailing it that um, that you want to, to make it, well, it has to fit the size limits that are there. You can see here that the video I'm going to use, here's the teaser that the agent did, it's almost 80 megabytes. That's too big to send through text or email. And then the um, interview with the neighbor is 166 megabytes. So these could be re relatively large and you don't want to, um, you know, downsize those because the quality won't be so good. So make sure that um, you find a way to do that. If you can't figure it out, go to Google or go to um, uh, YouTube and do a search for your phone, download video from give the, you know, make and model of your phone to the make and model of your computer. I promise you there's going to be hundreds of places, you know, the top, you know, results that are going to come out of that are going to show you even video on how to do that. But once you've done it one time, super easy and it's, it's, it should be something that you shouldn't hang you up so much. So the next thing I want to do is when it's, once it's on my computer, so this is on my computer, obviously, I'm going to then import the media. You can click this import media button right here, or you can just drag and drop. I mean, it's, it works just like any other software you've used. So I'm going to come in here and take these three videos. I'm going to bring in the interview from the neighbor, um, the uh, uh, front of the house um, B-roll, that B-roll that I told you about, which is just the pan of the front of the house, and then the agent video home teaser, basically the agent, you know, talking about that property. Now your B-roll, well, you, you'll probably have several B-rolls. I'm, I'm just going to show you how to do one because then it's the same with all the others, but you're going to put in probably five, six, seven plus clips of the different things that you've talked about. Okay, so now I'm going to take these and just drag them over here to where it says import media and you can see that it just pulls it right in. It's super easy um, for that, you know, to happen. And then 
um, I want to show you around here. This screen that's black right now is basically what's playing on my video, which is going to be down here. There's two pieces to this, like a grid. Across the top is the time or the length of your video. So you can see it says one minute, 30 seconds, one minute, 45 seconds. So basically that's the length of your video here. Of course, it doesn't know yet because you haven't put any video in there how long it's going to be. I mean, there's no limit. You could have hour long, you know, productions if you wanted to. And then over here are these tracks. Basically, this is where you have um, these layers of content, video, pictures, even text that you're going to put in there. Now, the reason they're layered like this is because it's going to play, your video will play everything that you put in here, even if it's on top of each other. So let me show you kind of with, as I do this, what that means. But if I pull this video right here, so this is the agent video, you know, the agent that did the um, kind of the teaser of that, the property, I'm going to pull it down here and I'm going to put it at the bottom. And the reason I'm going to put it at the bottom track is because I want to put B-roll on top of that. Or if I want to put like a logo or other things, I'm going to put it on top. So if you have something that, you know, you're doing like this where there's some narration or music even, you put those at the bottom because everything's going to play. And then the things that you want to, you know, have, actually have the um, viewer see goes up on the top. And it'll, it makes more sense as I go through this. Now, right here, you can see this bar and this, you know, this kind of um, button here thing and this bar or this, yeah, I guess it'd be a bar, this line that's coming down here. This is basically showing me where I'm at in this video. So you can see as I move it around, it's kind of going back and forth in this video. Okay, super easy, you know, with that. And then another thing is the video and the audio are both together in this one block. Um, in my timeline, and you can see that her teaser is lasting about 40 seconds, so it's not very long. You don't have to do a long teaser if you don't feel comfortable doing that. Talk 40 seconds about the you know, top selling points, three or four about that property. Get people excited to come see it or look at more pictures or go through the 3D tour, things like that. You don't have to do a tour of the entire property. Um, also notice that as I mouse over this, I have this orange bar that's kind of um, going across this, uh, you know, this 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 block here. This is my volume of my um, of, of the you know the video. So I can move this up and down and turn the volume up and down. I'm going to keep it at 100%. Now it's best to keep like narrations and things like that at 100% because how it was filmed is going to be your best quality. You um, raise it, it's going to just be louder, but not necessarily better quality. So hopefully you had a lav mic or some microphone to make sure that the sound is good with at least the, um, the people talking. Okay. So if I use um, my space bar, I can play the video, play and stop it. Just use the space bar. So I'm going to play it. That's okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. Hi, I'm Crystal Anse. I'm okay. the broker. So notice how good the sound is. Um, she's using a microphone. It's actually a directional mic on this, so you don't see it, you know, on her. Um, but it's just something that sits on your phone. You can actually buy, believe it or not, these little tiny directional mics that stick in your phone. Uh, but for the most part, just use the lab mics or something like that. And then um, notice too that she was smart. She stood there. She got ready. She's standing in one place. She, you know, there's a little laugh and interaction there. Obviously she doesn't want any of that. And you can even see here where she really starts where that, you know, there's a pause here and then that's where she starts talking. It's a good way to do your video. Remember I said when you're doing your video, hit record and don't worry that you're going to have things recorded that you're going to clip out because that's easy to do. So you're going to step back, pause for a second, smile, look into the camera and then start talking. And she did a great job of that. So I'm going to come here and then just stop it right at this moment, right before she starts talking. Right. And again, great look for, for it to start. And then th this block here is highlighted. And then I've got this icon right above here that shows a line between basically the icon of, the, of this block of, of video. If I click on that, it cuts it, right? Splices it. And then this is what I don't want, so I delete it. And then I, of course, don't want my video to start with just a black screen. So I have to take this video and move it all the way to the front, right? And so I'm going to edit my video or your, you would edit your video of you talking first. You can, of course, cut and splice anything in there that you don't like. But honestly, don't get so 
picky about it. I know lots of times when you're looking at yourself and like, oh, I hate it. Everybody hates the way they look or the way they sound or the way they talk on video. Don't even think about it. All natural is so much better than trying to make it all perfect and, and everything like that. So it's all right if you say, um, and uh, I do it all the time and I'm a presenter. It's a, don't, don't beat yourself up about it. Usually go, just go to the beginning and then go to the end. You know, she finishes there. Look at, she's got a great smile. She's done talking. There's a little tiny bit of a clip there. So I'm going to take that out too. And then I'm just going to delete it. Okay. And then again, if you want to hear it, you just hit the space bar. Two full bathrooms and the master suite is connected to the map. And she's talking about the property. Now this is where you're going to want to start putting in your B roll. So when she starts talking about that master suite, she would want to drag that clip in here. Um, the only one I did was the front of the house. So I'm going to come back here where she talks about the house itself. Real living diamond realtors. And today we are at 59. Okay. So now she's talking about the property that she's at. So I want the video to start there. I like to put my bar where I want it. I might even go back and forth a little bit to get it in the perfect place. You know, don't be too much of a perfectionist again, but you know, it's that easy to do. Then I'm going to take this B-roll video and I'm just going to lay it on top of the other video and audio. So now as she's talking, 5931 East Madison Avenue in Fresno. She's showing that property. Now, you'll notice that there is a big problem with showing that B-roll is she's outside and there must be some wind or some, you know, that uh, static noise that's back there. Avenue in. And you definitely don't want that. So you can do two things. One is you can just turn it all the way down, go down to zero and it's done. So now watch what happens when I play. Avenue in Fresno. This home is south of Belmont. So much better, right? So again, she's going from her talking. 5931 East Madison Avenue in to the home. Fresno. This home is south of Belmont and... And no interruption with that sound. Now, another thing you can do, and I like to do this a lot of times because I might edit my sound in some way or, you know, just something like that. If I right click this and I hit um, separate video and audio, I can actually see them separately. And then if I want to, I could actually just take that audio and just delete it. And that will do the same thing as, of course, as turning it down to zero. But let's say, for example, you're in the backyard and you're showing this, maybe they have this little brook. I know that not many backyards have that, but let's say it has this nice little, you know, brook or this water feature or something like that. And it makes this nice little noise. Maybe there's a wind chime and you liked how it, it chimed. You could actually, if you leave the sound in there, like I showed you here with this sound, you could turn it down to like 5% or just kind of listen to what it's like. And you'll have a slight, you know, sound that's in there and then um, it not interrupting you speaking. And you can do that with music too. A lot of people like to do that with music. Now, since I mentioned music, one thing to know about music is if you download a song or you have a song on iTunes or something like that, and, and then you've got it in an MP3 that you put in here, and it's a copyright song, meaning you would have to pay for that song to get it. Any basically professional song that you would get that you hear on the radio or anything like that is copyrighted. You cannot just throw them in your video because you feel like it. It will actually be either muted or it won't be accepted on many of the platforms. Um, there are some exceptions with influencers and stuff like that, but for the most part with what you're doing here, you can't do it. If you want to put video or audio like music in there, there are lots of uh, music tracks. Even Camtasia offers a whole bunch of them that's royalty free that you can use. It's usually instrumental. Sometimes they do have some singing with it, but it has to be royalty free. Otherwise you can't use it. Don't use it. It'll mess up your video. Okay. So that's as easy as it was to put that B roll in there and take out that audio. Now she did an interview with a neighbor. So I'm going to pull that down. I'm just going to put it, but butt it up against the, um, video that is her talking about the property and I've had agents change this up. They've done two different videos. They put the neighbor interview first and then had the house. I, you know, try it out and see what happens. Cause if someone doesn't watch your entire teaser on the property, then they might not watch the interview. So you decide, but we've done it different ways and this seems to work. And of course we tag the neighbor. So hopefully they'll watch it and their friends will watch it. Oasis. Okay. All right, we're now crossing. Okay, so notice on this one, I also had that little bit of a pause there while they're both smiling. Look at how this guy was so sweet. I was there. He's just a, such a sweet man that was talking about how much he loved this, you know, little neighborhood out in California. Um, now, as I have this, you know, in that place where I want to trim it, I just hit my little trim button right there. 
and then I delete what I don't want. Again, I don't want any black space there, dark, you know, just a pause between the two videos. So I put it back up against where I want it. All right, we're now across the street and we've um, met our neighbor Darwin and we've liked- <laughs> Yeah, Darwin was awesome. So again, this is such a fun thing to do with your neighbors. Please don't underestimate the value of this. Your video is, will get more likes, more comments and everything if you include the video uh, or include the neighbor and then tag them on the video and then usually in my comments if it's not going to be at the very beginning of the video I'll put in there you know keep watching to hear what the neighbor says you know the neighbor Darwin or whatever says about the um, about the neighborhood and that way people will, will look for that you know anticipate it after they've learned a little bit more about the property and again as I showed you with Robin's video and the neighbor interview that she did if the neighbor starts talking about different parts of the neighborhood, which I know Darwin did, I talked quite a bit, you might even want it or need to trim it a little bit, make sure you put the things that he talks about as a B-roll, like I did over here, over those areas, right? And, and that's how easy it is. So remember what he talked about. If he said, you know, the schools are great, or, you know, in his case, he might talk about, you know, the restaurants, the stores, the shopping. I think he talked about some of that kind of stuff. There's a community center out there that I think he mentioned. Go on your way out of the neighborhood or before you leave, go to that, you know, that location, um, that, you know, shopping mall or whatever it is, and do a little pan of that so that when he's talking about it, people can get a sense of what they're seeing. Super easy. Look at how easy it is to do that. And again, if you lay it over, they're going to hear, you know, what you're saying and then only see what you've, that B-roll. And just so you understand the, the, the how that works, if I take this video and move it, you can see that there's the agent, right? She's really... Um, they're playing just like because it plays everything in that um, in, in those uh, tracks but uh, you the vis or the viewer is only seeing what's on top unless you decide you could even take this and say oh I'm gonna do a picture-in-picture -picture or something like this you could do that I wouldn't recommend it for this because people really want to see the full picture if possible of um, of the, of the property as you show it okay now the only other thing I wanted to show you with this video is how to put some other elements in here that you may want to have like let's say for example you want to have your logo in there now there's a few ways that you can do this one is you can put um, not I guess you could do an annotation there's other ways where you could put uh, blocks of color and stuff like that but you could use something like this where I put it in and then I could actually take up the whole bottom here and this is just one of many ways you can do this. So I could put this in here so I could put information about, you know, who the agent is and the brokerage. And, you know, I could put agent name and phone number and brokerage, you know, and all that kind of stuff. You're going to put the logo in there. So maybe you don't need to do that. And, and you could have that and it would play for the whole video. It would be there if you wanted it to. But let me show you how to do that. So right now you can see that it's all it's set up to only play during this period of time. Right. So since this is static, it's not video, so to speak. It's not something where you're stretching out video because you can't do that. You can stretch out images. So I can take this and I can stretch it out for, for the full length of this video. So it's gonna be there at the bottom and then you can choose whatever color you want. You can choose an outline if you want it or you don't want it. You know, this one, I don't believe, you know, it doesn't have an outline. It was just showing, you know, that highlight there, but there's no outline to it. Any color, you just click on it again. You can choose, you know, um, what, you know, if it's got a solid color, if it's opaque a little bit, you could even do that. So you could kind of fade it a little bit. You could do a black one and, and fade all sorts of really kind of cool things you can do on this kind of call out here. Okay. And then if you want to put like a logo on this one, um, it's what's important to know is the kind of files that you have. PNG is, a, is an image file type that allows you to have a transparent background. And I love having a transparent background because then it's not this big block of white or whatever color with maybe the logo kind of stuck inside of that. This way it can, you know, the video can show through where the logo isn't. So I'm gonna take that. So there's what the logo looks like. I'm gonna just drag this, oops, use the wrong one there onto my screen. Look at, I could just drag it right on my screen. See how easy that is? And notice then because it's a PNG, only the logo um, stands out, but the, um, you know, behind that isn't there. Now this is way too big. So let's say I'm going to take this and make it smaller and I'm going to kind of overlay it here. So it kind of has this cool look and, you know, you can be, you know, kind of, 
you can have fun with this in a sense that you can put it anywhere you want. Now again, this one's only gonna show during this little period of time. So if I want it to be there during the entire time, then I just stretch it out during that whole you know time. And it'll stop you, like it'll let you know, oh, that's the end of your video. Because if I have this go a little bit further, that's gonna keep showing that, like watch what happens. I'll come all the way over here. And then it's it's a black screen because there's nothing else to show there. And, and then of course, everything else disappears except for the logo. So I'm gonna pull this back so it ends with you know that logo that's there, okay? See how simple and easy that is? Um, not hard or difficult to do. I'm not gonna show you any other features to this, honestly, because I don't want you to get overwhelmed. This is really all you need to do. There are lots of really fun audio effects. You can add more voice narration if you wanna do that. Cursor effects, if you're gonna show something, you can make the cursor bigger like what I do with some of these videos little animations and all this. Have fun, have, let your kids have fun if you want to. Don't go crazy though, but know that really what I just did here in the, in the last few minutes is all you need to do to do a video home show. Now, before you publish it or export it, which is this button right here, what I want you to do is go to File and Save. And actually I want you to do that from the very beginning because then it'll auto save along the way. Video is very computer you know, processor and RAM intensive. So it's possible that your computer uh, freezes up on you and if you haven't saved it initially it, and then it doesn't auto save if it crashes on you you've lost everything plus you want to save it so that later on you can go back and make changes if you want to or if you've created kind of this template like let's say you like oh I like how I have my bar down here and I like my logo the way it is and at the end I put my picture and how to contact me and I got music that I like or whatever that may be you can you can kind of keep that all together and, um, and, and then you know change out the video that you put in just by deleting the video. You can even create templates in this, but we won't get into that, but you could kind of delete all this other video and then add a new video um, with your next project so it makes it easy that way. So make sure you save it first. Then you're gonna export it. So what I want you to do is export using local file. That's gonna create an MP4 file locally on your computer. Make sure it's on your computer, not a cloud drive. It'll even warn you if you try to put it on a cloud drive that it could degrade the a quality or even just you know not it has to render it all and do all this processing and send it up there and and it may not work so well if it's going to a, a, you know a cloud location meaning it's out there on the internet like on Google Docs or something like that just do it on your desktop first then you can throw it over there if you want to later now you do have the option to put it onto YouTube which is great but I would just do a local file first and then upload it to YouTube upload it to Facebook and everything else so enjoy I hope this helped and it made it sound an easy for you. Once you've done it once or twice, you'll, you'll just be a, a pro at it. So have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.